Okay guys, uh, I'm just going to do a quick little devlog here. Uh, this is one of my, well really one of my first times using Unity. Uh, I, I played with it before, but I didn't really get really serious into it. But uh, I just want to kind of show what I'm working on here. Um, as you can probably tell by the sprites, I'm kind of working on a sprite based uh, FPS game. As you can tell, I got the Wolfenstein guy here, and I have a Kaku Demon over there. This bike is just a leftover relic from something else I was doing. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play this and show what I've got going. Maybe a little bit loud. But uh, as you can see, you have the enemies that move toward you. Uh, I don't have the code where the enemies turn direction so they always face toward you I, I can shoot them oh uh, guys hidden now I can kill them I can shoot this guy uh, as you can see I have three weapons I have the pistol just shoots one shot I have the shotgun it shoots kind of a spread and then I have this machine gun like that and then uh let me take out this Kevin Alright, uh, his animation, his death animation is kind of glitched, if you've noticed. Uh, there's also some effects that are just kind of left hanging out here. This bike just goes in a circle. This is one of my, tef my, my test runs here. Uh, if we can't, yeah, we can knock it over. And it'll eventually just drive off the side. There it goes. Okay. So that's what I've got going on, and I'll... I'll show uh, how I've got this all set up. So uh, here's all my textures. So I have all my scripts. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll show where all these are. By the way, I can't get the uh, what do you call what do they call it in here? Me Ming or not that? Uh, whatever the Unity thing is. So I, I use Notepad++, which I wish I had something better, but uh, this is just what I use for now. So um, here's the first person controller. This is just a very basic one. Um, this is, Really, this is more of just something I got off the internet, um, except for this, obviously. This is just code down here to say, to spawn more soldiers in case I wanted to. Um... Yeah, this is, you, you can get this off the internet. This is tutorial stuff. The stuff I wrote myself, uh, first of all, I have this called Sprite Look. And what this does is it just tells all the sprites in the game to look toward you. So, for example, if I were to just comment this out and then try to run, it'll make the sprites do strange things. They, they, like, they won't look at me. eventually uh, yeah see look so we have like uh, paper doom here paper mario so yeah that's all the uh, that's all this does and i have this script on pretty much every sprite object game object in here including these little effects here oh come on yeah, even these have the little sprite look uh, of course it takes in the camera now, um, for the enemies, I have a few scripts like this, the damage controller, which I need to clean up because it has a lot of weird code in it, which just controls like damage, and then I have the effects, and I have, oh, for each enemy, I have its own like behavior sheet, and uh, I'll show you the soldier because it's more up to date, but uh, I, I separate each behavior by state. So state zero is just his standard, I'm walking toward you and I'm mad at you. Uh, state two is when he's dead. Uh, state three is, um, let's see, oh that's his, his hurt animation. So it just plays this one frame and then goes back to normal. And state four, I should actually change that because I updated it. State four is just his shooting animation. Uh, yeah. And then the Kako Demon. Kako Demon's a little bit out of date. Uh, I'll explain why. 
because well, the main reason is because he uses this old way I was doing the animate. All right, I wrote my own animation script to animate the sprites. There's probably something in Unity that does this, but I don't care. I want I, I want to write my own thing just so I'd have more control. Um, and this is the way I used to do it. I used to have each behavior script would have like anim count, anim speed, animation frame. And it would just do this thing where uh, the count plus plus, if the count is greater than the speed, then play the next frame. And it would, that's how you would control like the speed of the animation, uh, which animation was playing. And, uh, yeah. And I have all the animations down here. Uh, for example, the soldier. These are all of his sheets. He's walking. And they're all, they're all numbered. So, uh, I could just play, like, I, d I can just put, like, an array and just have it iterate by one and then just play through it'll just play through all the animations like zero one two three four five six seven eight uh, and then I of course I have to manually separate out the sprites for to, to denote the animations uh, which I did that uh, the new thing which I actually just added is I added this uh, script called sprite animator and um, this is another thing that's probably the wrong way, but I don't. Uh, it's it's my code. I can do what I want. But uh, what I did here is uh, I have your uh, you have the animation name, which I'll get to that in a second, uh, and then I have a an, an array of sprites, which is which is going to be the sprite it uses, animation speed, animation type. And then down here, what I have is I had two functions, load animation. And this is where you put in the name of the animation. You put in the array of integers, which is going to be the sprites it uses. You put in the, the speed and you put in the type. And it loads it in. Uh, what I did here was I used four separate arrays. Uh, this is a really strange way to do it, I know. But uh, I, I should have just created a class, but I didn't know how to do that like in, in the way unity is set up so I just used a bunch of uh, arrays and just had them linked together by a common ID in this case it's empty slot up here it's I but uh, once you load the animation and then I'll actually give you an example uh, down here is where I load them so you have walk forward and death the two animations these are the frames it uses that's the speed and then that's the type of animation um, and then up here in the up no in the play animation which I call here in the little soldier. So right here, this is just, just a standard animation or in his death animation. I say play the animation death, and so it'll run this function and it call it brings in the name. It'll find oh this should actually be outside the for loop, but oh well. Actually, no, I'm, I think it's fine. But uh, it'll find the name using this loop, and if it's found the name, then it'll set it all to say, like, this is the current animation that should be playing. And it'll, you know, set the counter to uh, zero and, you know, reset everything. Uh, which will go to up here in the update, which will, uh, which is basically just the same thing you saw earlier where it, I have a count, it goes up by the speed. Well, actually, it's a little bit different because this time the count gets added by the speed and the uh, and the speed is determined like how fast the count can reach 100. And then once it gets to 100, it will uh, go to the next frame of animation, basically. Uh, and as far as the types, that was another new thing, the type. I only have two types right now, type 0 and type 1. Type 0 is just a looping animation. Type 1 is just an animation that freezes on the last frame. So for example, the walking one where he's just strutting back and forth, that's a looping animation. 
and then the death where he's just he dies and then the last frame is just him dead on the ground and that's that's type one animation this is just a new thing I added that's why I'm spending so much time on it because it's fresh on my mind <laughs> I could show you the other ones, the weapons, the weapons I'll have to clean up, it's got a lot of long code, but uh, I'll go over it a little bit, um, these are the, I, I separate each weapon for IDs, ID 1 is the pistol, so I say if he's pressing the, if, if the weapon, if he has a pistol, and he's pressing the mouse button, uh, and it's and it's not currently in the shooting animation. This is old code, by the way, because this is I'm actually pulling it straight from the sprite renderer. Um, so if it's the if if it's not already in the shooting animation, basically is what I'm saying, then play the shooting animation, play the audio for the pistol, and play it and call this function shoot bullet. And shoot bullet is down here where I shoot a vector I do a random range because I don't want it to just hit dead center every time uh, and I set up the that's the spread I call it the spread oh yeah I do the ray cast I check um, and down here I just check if it's a monster then register it as a hit if it's not a monster, if he's not hitting a monster, then just play the spark, and that's what you saw when I shot here. I'll show you again. You notice I shoot the ground. If there's a spark, I shoot someone that's a monster. It has, it has the blood. That's what that does. And that's what that does. Does uh, I'm gonna update this soon. This was all just beginner stuff I was doing because I was not that familiar with the, the way Unity set, is set up. Uh, the other thing I have here, the sparks are just, uh, this is just a very basic code, it just says uh, when it starts then to determine which type of spark it is, I have different types of spark, like yeah, the gray ricochet, I have like a laser spark, and then down here just do the animation the old way. <laughs> and once it's finished the animation then just delete it damage controller this is something that goes on to each um, monster it has several audio clips it has the injured sound the death sound and also the shooting sound uh, this is another okay well what I'm doing right now is it looks like I'm just getting the type of monster and just hard coding his health that way. I could probably just add a public integer up here that says health and just type it in. Oh well. Um, this just says if it's the zero, if the health is zero, then play the death. Then or or, or that say that he is dead. Um, I had to do if statements here, say, like to get the monster type because I had to call the individual behavior of that monster. I wish there was a way to just say, call a function called death, whichever behavior it has. Um, hit, what is this? Um, oh, this just determines if the monster gets hit with a weapon that you have, then, uh, subtract a random amount of health 2 and 8 is probably a big range for that I could probably lower it to 2 and 6 and for some oh all right if it's have it if it has a hurt animation then this or a hurt function then just play the hurt is what I'm doing here once again I have to do the I have to get the specific monster type and uh yeah, if it's if he, if he's not or if he if he if ugh, if his health is zero, play his death death sound. If it's not, then just play his injured sound. Uh, let's see. Oh, this this is what determines the the enemies that to shoot. 
And this is basically done the same way as I did in the weapons here. It just sprays, well right now it is, because I'm only doing the soldier. It just spreads a ray cast from the soldier to the player and says if he's hitting the player, uh, then show some blood and, and play like the player is hurt. If it hits a monster, then uh, damage the monster. Or if it hits nothing, then just play the spark. Or if it hits a wall or something, just play the spark. Or basically, if it hits anything that's not a player or a monster, then just show a spark. What is this? This is garbage. This is depreciated. Blood, this is just the same thing. You can see what I'm doing here. It's nothing special. Uh, that's all my scripts. Um, I've got a bunch of sprites here that I can borrow. <laughs> Uh, anything else I can show off here? These are just some old textures I had. I have all my sounds here. Uh, this is all I have so far. I think next one I want to work on is uh, having the animation determine or have the monsters determine which direction they're facing and play the correct animation. Like for example, how this guy has a turn to the side and turn to the back animation. I want to make I want to code something that says it actually finds if the soldier is facing away from the player then show that he's turned away. Or if he's to the side show that he's looking to the side. Um, that's pretty much all I've got so far. Uh, I guess I, once I make more progress, I will make more uh, streams or more logs. So I guess that will end this right now, and I will make another one next time. Bye-bye.